This is our next topic, so-called stepper motor. Okay. For each Devon stepper motor, we need a motor driver. This here is our motor driver. Both elements are part of your starter kit. One thing we should immediately notice is that the axis is not centered inside the motor. Yeah. This has a reason. Yeah, this has a reason. On the back side, you can even read step motor. Yeah. There is the type, and you can look up the data sheet. Very shiny, very shiny, very shiny, very shiny, very shiny. Ah, now it's getting better. Yeah? Stepper motor, blah, 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 blah. 5 volt stepper motor. What is a stepper motor? A stepper motor moves in steps because otherwise this name would not be <laughs> meaningful. Okay. What does it mean? It has some some coils inside there. Yeah. And if you energize one coil and then the next coil, it will make exactly this step. Yeah, the rotor will follow the coils, and if you then energize this coil, this coil, this coil, this coil, this coil, it will always follow and always in steps. Yeah, and there is also micro stepping. You can you can uh, not energize one coil and then the other coil. You can energize one coil, then two coils, then it will get in between, and then remove this. And then it will make the full step. So we can move in half steps also, yeah. at least with this motor driver. Yeah. There is a plus, and these lines are the four four uh, coils. Yeah. So if we plus five volt, and if we, if we put this on minus, then there is a current running. And this coil is energized. If we don't put this on this on minus, but on, on plus, there is no no current flowing and no magnetic field introduced. This what is minus and what is plus is totally done by this motor driver. It can be done by this motor driver. On this motor driver board, you see we have here power supply, yeah? we have a power supply and we have four pins. These four pins are there that we can energize coil 1, energize coil 2, energize coil 3, energize coil 4, uh, coil, coil 4 and this is the power supply. And this jumper here is purely to crack the power, it, power supply supplies the integrated circuit this chip and the power supply supplies on one of these pins the stepper motor and if I open this jumper I can I can remove the power supply to the stepper motor okay close the jumper again that the step that the power supply is there this thing here cannot can only be inserted the correct way yeah? so that we have the correct order order of cables yeah, that's it. Let's see if I can manage with my thing to make some some pointer device. Yes, <laughs> this is working great. I have now a pointer device, yeah, and I will power supply this. Yeah. I will again use the power supply, the power supply for the breadboard. We have used this before. Okay. So what do we need? We need to power supply plus and minus. Plus I will use red, minus I will use I will use brown. So I need red plus minus. Brown, I will do, I will plug it in here accordingly, plus and minus. 
good. And then we do need our four our four coils. Green. Now we simply use the cable. And right now I will try to do this even without So it's first green and then blue and then purple and then gray. Okay. These are now my four coils. Okay, these are now my four coils. And I will power supply this. Okay. I will now let them in steps go through and we will see hopefully we will see what the stepper motor does in the data sheet you can read that the stepper motor has one step it's five point whatever degree yeah five point six degree one step yeah however there is a gearbox inside and this gearbox has a, a ratio of one to sixty four one to sixty four this is why this is not centrical, because there are gears inside. Every time inside, if we make one, one uh, rotation inside, this only makes one sixty-fourth of the rotation. Yeah? So if this makes five degree steps, 5.6 degree steps, this will only make 0 0.17 degree steps, but very tiny steps. In total, for one revolution at this shaft here, we're having 2048 steps, quite a lot. And I'm now, by hand, I want to show you how this is working. And I'm really, I wonder if this is working too. So, just make sure that this can rotate, ah, it will not rotate that far. So I will energize now coil one. Yeah. I will energize also coil, you see it's indicated. I will energize also coil two. Then I will remove this one. I will energize coil three. I will remove this one. I will energize coil four. I will remove this one. I will energize this coil. Okay. I will remove this one. I will energize this coil. Remove this one. And so on. And hopefully we can see how this is moving. Then the thing should be moving. I will try maybe in the video to make a fast forward to see if this is really working or not. I think you got it, what is happening, right? Every time the next and the next and then the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and the next and the last one is going and so on. Yeah. 
This is how this stepper motor is working. Yeah. Now we need to, to uh, get this work from our Arduino. Yeah. Here's our Arduino. And we'll now have to program exactly this shape. This Okay, let's do it like this. This should work perfect. Okay, so this is this is what's going to happen, yeah? I now finalize here the the hardware setup. Okay. I now finalize here the hardware setup and I will just begin with pin number nine. Just begin here. Eight. Eight. Eight is green. Uh-huh. I can even do this. And this one. This one, this one, this one. Okay. So now we're connected to a motor driver. We still have to connect the ground that we have the same base. And I think that's it. Yeah. With this setup, we should be able to let our our stepper motor turn. This is now the goal. Beam put in. Hardware set up. Ready. Ready for coding. Let's save it again under this name. Save as. Ah, this is not working. Stepper, stepper, stepper. That's already the catchphrase, let's say, because, you know, looking for a library which can do this, yeah, can do this, this dance, yeah, there is one. And luckily this library is even built in. Include, and it's called stepper.h step.h yeah. we have to define how many steps per revolution define steps per rev and these are 2048 yeah. these are how many steps we need for one turn here define Step pin one, this is eight. Yeah. Some of the stepper motors only have two pins, yeah. and these are not the middle ones. Yeah. So I have to write here 10 okay, for, this, for pin number two, because if you have a stepper motor which is not not capable of doing this steps between yeah? then you only have p pin number eight and pin number ten yeah and our driver i will show you afterwards yeah is capable of handling both i will define a stepper now stepper and this is our drive drive yeah? and we need to give how many steps by by revolution yeah? then we need to give the steps pin number one I can enter here enters are not can be used and to to structure the code a little bit step number two this would be already sufficient if we would have a stepper motor with just two 
pins. We're having a stepper motor with three pin, with four pins, so we have to add those. Yeah, and this is why the strange numbering is here. Drive dot set speed with set speed yeah, of the drive. You can set how many rotations per minute this drive should make. I will set it now to a relative low value one, one rotation per minute. That's rather slow. Okay, it's rather slow, of course. I will print out something on the serial monitor that I know what is happening. Yeah. Serial begin 9600. Wunderbar. In the loop. I just want to turn it now. Just a simple program. Serial.print. Print line. Turn clockwise, turn, turn clockwise, and drive dot step, yeah. and I will simply set one rotation. Okay, then I will delay for one second. And then we do the same, but in the other direction. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. And we have minus steps per revolution. Okay? So there is nothing. Include the stepper. Define some, some pins and so on. And then we turn one revolution clockwise. And then wait one revolution back. And then it should always do this. Let's see if it does. Upload. Upload. You heard? Ah. Huh? Look how it is turning. And look how the steps are flashing. I'm not sure if it really takes a minute. But it's rather long, I would say. Yeah. Makes a little bit noise also. But not very well, not very extensive. Yeah. No, isn't that great? It's turning. It's turning, it's turning, it's turning. I'm not sure where we started. Somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Now we're turning in the other direction. Okay, so this should be the second minute now. Yeah? If it's really true that it takes a minute. One thing, the stepper motors, if we are losing steps, yeah? if we are losing steps, that's the big disadvantage of stepper motors. If we are losing steps, to, that the motor cannot, the rotor cannot follow, either it's blocked or not, then we're not noticing it. Then it's just wrong. Yeah? Then it maybe if lost a step, it does not really count, it will simply move with the next step, next step, next step. So just because we say next step, next step, next step, means if we lose one, then we make one to less. Yeah. That's what's really the difference between a stepper motor and a servo motor. Yeah. The servo motor, this one, if you remember, the servo motor does have some feedback. Yeah. The servo motor will notice if it's if it's losing steps so or is losing and will correct this stepper motor does from from its 
point of view, it does not correct. So let's see. I want to, to increase now the speed a little bit. I don't want to have one. I want to have two revolutions by, by a minute upload. We started here, around here. See, it's now no error opening com7 close serial monitor open serial monitor and then now press upload in the correct i want to hit it here let's see if i can manage upload good Since I know we have started here now, we will see if we end up here also as well. Come on! No, oh, not too bad. Now we move to the other direction. So. Let's see, let's see, I will write here now 10. Let's move faster. Yeah. Upload. Moving faster. Okay, working not too bad, right? Let's see if we have have the wrong wrong number of steps. I will now use half the number of steps. Yeah. What happens then? It's slower again. Why it's slower? And it's only turning half the way. You see? Because it just thinks we're only going 1024. Yeah. This is what happens if you're using the wrong figures of your of your stepper motor. Yeah. Let's see if it's still moving with 20 rotations per minute. Huh? This is what happens if we are too fast. Nothing. It's just humming. You hear? Now we are too fast. Now we are too fast. Let's try 15. This is just to, to let you know. Oh, 15 still seems to work. 15 still seems to work. Just that you know what is maybe going wrong. Yeah. It's in this direction. Are we already losing steps? Oh, still looking pretty good. Still looking pretty good. Yeah. This is how to control a stepper motor. You have seen the parameters. Yeah, you have seen what you can do, set steps per revolution and so on, say how many steps it needs to go. Uh, you've seen the hardware setup. That's, that's it, how this is working. And now let's see what you could come up with. I've now combined the last thing and this exercise in in one thing i have the ir remote control yeah and i can use the buttons of the remote control to control the stepper motor yeah for me i have coded next then it will move to the next position previous then it will, will move to the previous position in steps you see next 
previous. If you press play, it will move with a certain speed. If, we, if I increase, I press the button up, it will get faster. Do this several times. Here's our velocity. Okay. Or slow it down. Now I'm at the lowest possible velocity. Now I'm at zero and if I press down again, it will move in the other direction. Okay? And can also get faster. And of course, if I now press if I now press fast forward or next, it will move exactly and exactly the amount I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> in this direction we will notice nothing only if we are now slowing it down to let's say this jump jump forward jump backward And if I press play bars, it will stop. If I press play, it will start again. Yeah. So this this is one thing you could try. Or you could also try like the last time with the encoder. Yeah. That you simply use the encoder to control the rotation of your of your stepper motor. But then you can only turn and this will turn accordingly. Yeah. It's also a possible thing to do yeah try this try to fulfill this next time next time we are going to discuss uh, distance distance measurement distance measurement by ultrasonic pulses yeah. sounds much more much more dangerous or much more uh, complicated than it really is you will see yeah for this time thank you very much for listening step a motor have fun with it goodbye